सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर लेगेसी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक नेम रिएक्शन सीरीज ओके टिल नाउ सेवेंटीन रिएक्शन और सेवेंटीन ऑर्गेनिक नेम रिएक्शन आर ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन माई चैनल ओके यू कैन गो एंड वॉच एक्चुअली आई एम अपलोडिंग ऑल द रिएक्शन ऑल द नेम रिएक्शन विद अल्फाबेटिकली ऑर्डर राइट सो फर्स्ट आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद ए ए लेट ए अल्फाबेट एंड देन आई गो टू द बी एंड देन आई कम इन द सी ओके सो नाउ टूडे वी विल वी विल टॉक अबाउट कैरोल रीअरेंजमेंट इट इज बेसिकली दिस रिएक्शन इज अ रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन ओके इन दिस रिएक्शन सम रीअरेंजमेंट विल बी अकर ओके सो एंड नाउ यू आर सींग ऑन द स्क्रीन This is our general scheme of the reaction, right? So this is our substrate that is beta to allylic ester, and we have a product here gamma delta unsaturated ketone. Okay, and this is our condition of the reaction is the heat. We have given heat in this reaction, and now you will get product gamma delta unsaturated ketone. Okay, might be. Uh, you all know uh, how to naming this gamma and delta if you see this this is a carbox uh, this is a ketone group right so so with respect to this ketone group we have a alpha position here we have a alpha here and we have beta here uh, and yes uh, we have here alpha beta gamma and this is a delta right so that's why because the double bond is on the gamma and delta uh, position so that's why we have named this compound as a gamma delta unsaturated ketone okay now see the substrate if you see the substrate this is our carbonyl group ketone group so with respect to this this group this position is a, this position is alpha this is also alpha and and this is a beta it means that at the beta position this whole group is a this whole group is a keto allylic ester right so that's why we have given the name here at the beta position with respect to this functional group we have a beta keto allylic ester right so this is our name of the substrate let me erase all this right i hope you all understand very clearly okay fine so now let's go to the mechanism how the rearrangement taking place in this reaction okay fine so we have a reactant uh, substrate something like this wait wait here we have double bond and we have taken here heat right so this is our substrate and we have taken heat so first of all what happen so we have to tautomerize this compound right because uh, if we can't uh, tautomerize then this compound will not uh, undergo rearrangement okay so we will have to do tautomerization okay when you do the tautomerization then you will get something like this molecule tautomerization i am doing here okay wait 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 see we are doing here tautomerization right tautomerization okay and uh, because this is a reversible reaction so we have to show the reversible arrow and then you will get something like this i hope you all know that how to tautomerize the ketone okay so basically you will get something 
like this O here here is a OH and here is a double bond and you will get double bond here also right so this is our Tato Merize product okay after the Tato Merization of this substrate you will get this okay so uh, some people may be asking ki why we can't do this in this way suppose some people may ask why you do this why not something like this as it so if you make this if you make uh, if you do the tautomerization in this way then you can't do the re then you can't do the rearrangement in the further step okay so that's why we have to make the enol enol into this respect into this carbonyl group respect okay so that's why we are making the enol here we are making the double bond here okay that's why this is not correct this is a correct okay so we will move forward from this step right let me erase okay fine so now let's what happen so we have done tautomerization here okay and after that i think uh, you all already know that 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement okay so so here is a 1 2 3 numbering and here we have 1 uh 1 2 3 right so you can see uh, very clearly uh, you can write this molecule in this way let me show you which double bond o oxygen here and we have double bond right and uh, do the numbering i hope you all know how to do numbering okay so here you have one position two position three position and here it's a one two three and you all know that and if we have given heat here because the reaction is in the reaction condition is a heat right so in the presence of heat if we have something something like this molecule then we have to do rearrangement and that rearrangement is called 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement okay 3 3 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement okay right so how this happen let me show you this this rearrangement how this happen so first of all this is our 3 3 bond 3 3 sigma tropic means the bond at the 3 3 position will be get join and the 1 1 bond get break this is the very very uh, very best method to understand this 3 3 sigma tropic my sir chatra sir is always told that 3 three, three sigma tropic means just join the 3 three, three bond and break the 1 one, one bond this is the best a way to understand the 3 three, three sigma tropic rearrangement okay right so what you will have to do this bond will get attack on this one and simultaneously this bond will get shift on this position and then and then what happen this bond will get break right so basically you are seeing here the 3 3 position here is a 3 position and here is a 3 position so so on the 3 3 position the bond are gonna form and at the 1 1 position this is the 1 position this is also over this is also over this is also over 1 position so 1 1 bond is a breaking and the 3 3 bond is a formation 1 1 bond is breaking here 
ब्रेकिंग एंड थ्री थ्री बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मिंग राइट सो दिस इज बेसिकली दैट इज कॉल्ड थ्री थ्री सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक रीअरेंजमेंट ना यू विल गेट आफ्टर द रीअरेंजमेंट ओके वन सेकेंड एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड कलेजन रीअरेंजमेंट ओके थ्री थ्री सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक इज दिस इज दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म ओके एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस स्टेप इज कॉल्ड कलेजन रीअरेंजमेंट ओके बिकॉज यूर इज अक्सीजन इज प्रेजेंट so that's why we say this is a collision rearrangement okay collision rearrangement collision rearrangement okay fine so now what you will get after the rearrangement you will get something like this let me show you okay you will get uh, here something o hydrogen here and now double bond is same as usual and here you get a double bond here and you will get double bond of oxygen okay now what happen now what happen see now you have got this product after the rearrangement after the 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement now what happen because because here is a at the beta position we have a carboxylic acid group represent so this is the keto group right so so into this respect we have alpha here alpha here and we have beta position here so so at the beta position we have a car uh, we have a carboxylic acid group and because the reaction condition is the heat heat so that's why here is will uh, here the decarboxylation will be occur decarboxylation decarboxylation will be occur decarboxylation will occur it means co2 will be leave it means co2 will be leave right so let me erase this okay then i can show you how the co2 will leave okay wait yes so what happened now uh i hope you all know that uh, how the co2 will leave okay but uh, i will explain no worry don't worry okay yes see okay so what happened now this is our uh, this bond will get wait 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 let me use a different color this bond will get break and here right and then this bond will shift here and then what happen this will take this hydrogen and now you will get something like this this is the loss of a co2 co2 will be leave and you will get something like this you see double bond here something like this here is a oh and here is a something okay you will got this molecule you got this molecule after the decarboxylation occur means co2 will leave and you will got this molecule so after this because you uh, because you know that uh, you can now try to write this because uh, keto form is more stable than enol form so that's why you have to again you have to again try to write this okay so let's uh, let's do a tautomerization here so when so when we do when you do the tautomerization when you do the tautomerization then you will get something like this this is our double bond here yes this is our final product okay this is our final product right this is our final product final product okay right so this is our final product of this reaction of this uh, carol rearrangement okay i hope you will all understand very clearly uh, how the rearrangement is happening here 
how the reaction is happening here okay how to take the, how to predict the mechanism right so that's uh, all about this uh, mechanism if you want to naming this compound this is our final product you can also name this so this is the alpha position this is the alpha position this is the beta position and this is the gamma position and this is the delta position so that's why we say that we have a final product that is called gamma delta unsaturated ketone wait let me write it here gamma delta unsaturated ketone okay this is called product that we have got here gamma delta unsaturated ketone this is our final product right i hope you will all understand this mechanism of this uh, rearrangement this is very very important that is very uh, frequently asked in the csi and net or get or even maybe sometime maybe it will come in the future in the iit jam also right so if you have understand this uh, concept very clearly then you can then you can like share and subscribe my channel my uh, my chemistry portal channel okay uh, i taught i teach only organic chemistry okay i try to teach you in the very best uh, and in a very simple language so that uh, all students can understand okay fine so tab tak ke liye tata bye bye see you soon in the next episode series of organic name reaction series thank you for watching my video thank you so much